Semyaza says those, my friend, are the names, as I already promised them to you long ago. Listed in accordance with our alphabet letters, I selected 21 male and 21 female names for you, as these were common on earth about 14,30 years ago and were brought at that time by our direct ancestors. The names handed over to you come from two languages, the original Iran and Vigan languages, but at the same time, different dialects were united by those living together on the earth. Unfortunately, due to all the cataclysms in the course of thousands of years, only very few of these names were received or received in resemblance. In the main, they only exist in old languages, which have already become historic languages on your planet and are only spoken very seldom. In many cases, however, they have also fallen to rather bad changes and distortions in these languages, so they are often hardly recognizable therein. Most values are still contained in the so-called ancient Greek, but this language itself already represents a distortion, for truly, this concerns the latest Minoan. Thus, that language which was spoken by the people of the Minoans and which, by these, was taught to the ancient Hellenes Greeks, together with many things of their culture at that time, until the Santorini volcano exploded about 3,500 years ago and the Minoans had to flee to the mainland. If it should be possible for me time-wise I will, perhaps, transmit to you three female and three male names from each letter in some time again, but for my part, this shouldn't be a promise, so don't count on it. For my part, I would be very glad if through the given list of names, these old names, which are also still current with us, would find use again on earth, for they are truly value containing. Now farewell, my friend, until next time. Translator's note I had some difficulty in deciding how to translate the German meanings of many of the names, primarily because of the limitations of the English language. While a German-speaking person would readily know that a meaning which begins with the masculine definite article, da, must necessarily apply to a man, and a meaning that begins with the feminine definite article, die, must necessarily apply to a woman, an English-speaking person cannot readily tell this by reading, the, which is the standard way of translating both German articles since English has no masculine or feminine definite article. In order to resolve this difficulty, I chose many times to insert the phrase, man who is a, or, woman who is a, so that the English-speaking person would readily know to what gender the name should be applied, if he or she saw the meaning isolated from the list or within another context. So for instance, where, da g-e-s-c-h-i-c-h-t-s-s-c-h-r-e-i-b-e-r, could simply be translated as, the history writer. I chose to translate it as, the man who is a history writer. This way, the English-speaking person knows that the respective name must be applied to a man, in the same way that the German-speaking person already knows this from reading, da. Also, many times where the word, one, would normally be used in the translation of the meaning of a name, in order to designate the individual to whom it applies, I chose to substitute it with, man, or, woman, again so that the English-speaking person would be on par with the German-speaking person, who already knows the applicable gender because of the article. Moreover, in German, in, is often added to the end of a noun that designates a person's position, in order to make it applicable to a woman, in the same way that, is, is often added to such in English, in order to do the same, such as in the case of, hurte slash hurterine, equals, guardian slash guardianess. In many cases where the, in, can be added in German, it would not sound right in English if the, is, would simply be added to the respective English noun, so I had to avoid trying to do so altogether and had to come up with a different way of conveying the meaning. As much as possible, I tried to use the, is, approach, as long as the English words found general use among English speakers, though such words might not presently appear in English dictionaries. Nevertheless, English itself is an expanding language, and the more that people use such words, 
which should readily make sense to those who are already masters of the English language, the more that such words will be added to the dictionaries in the future. The End